Hi, my name is Robin Bremer. I'm the author of Kingdom Justice and Liberty for All and Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. And today I want to share with you a my one of my favorite words that God gave us for Valentine's Day to show us how much He loves us and to demonstrate His love on us, and that is puppy love. He gave me the word puppy love. And I said, Holy Spirit, what is it about puppy love you want to tell your people? And he said he wants his people to, well, the first thing you think of when you think of puppy love is you think of two preteens in love or teenagers in love thinking, you know, oh, this is it. And you say, oh, that's just puppy love. Well, puppy love is is what God wants to talk about. Puppy love is sort of <clears throat> what I just said. Hang on a second. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> Puppy love is, God said, puppy love is peaceful, uh, adorable, um, well, I want to think of this, he used specific words, he said, puppy love is engaging, it is the same in every language, somebody sees a puppy, they think the same thing, oh, cute, adorable. Uh, they they want to take it home. They want to keep it. They want to pet it. They want to protect it. They want to love it. Uh, it. It just causes them to have affection toward it. And God wants us to have a puppy love. He wants the world to look at us in with puppy love. He wants people to be in in. He wants us to be engaging. So people want to get involved in our life. He wants our life to be attractive. He wants our life to be playful. He wants, and that's a big word, playful. Too many Christians uh, sit on the pew and go to church because they think it's what they're supposed to do. And they just go to church out of obligation. Not because when they go to church they get anything out of it. They aren't learning the word. They aren't walking in victory. They aren't praising and worshiping. Like I said in the beginning of my uh, book, Feed My People Joy, that in the church today, people sing, but there is no praise and worship and no God's presence when they worship. And they preach the word, but there's no confirming signs. And they make you shame you, guilt you, make you feel condemned. And they give you no power to change. And that is the typical condition of today's church. That's why we need revival. We need to wake up the church. But anyway, God said there's too many people sitting on the pews and not playing. And he wants to bring his people back to playfulness. And I want to share this with you. Something that happened to me. I was in the, the prayer room at church. And there was some really neat music playing, and it was just so sweet. And I was just closed my eyes, and I was ready to go out of the prayer room. And all of a sudden, Jesus came to me in, in a vision with my eyes closed. And he walked up to me, and he started dancing with me. And he would spin me out and spin me back. And he dipped me, and he twirled me. And and we were just like ballroom dancing, and it was, it was like in a fairy tale. It was so awesome and in his eyes I could see his awesome love for me but it was his he had a love that was unconditional and all-consuming he loved every part of my being and there was no judgmentalness no criticalness no I'm superior than you it was he just loved me but the thing that most stuck out in my heart was what else I saw in his eyes I saw playfulness he enjoyed playing with me. We were playing together. We were dancing together. And playfulness is something that the body of Christ seems to have lost. They think you go to church and it's like, Shh, you can't violate the house of God. You can't laugh. You can't sing. You can't run. You can't jump. You can't skip. It's just a building. You can do whatever you want in it. The kids can run and jump the pews as long as they aren't breaking them. It's just a building. It's old time religion that makes you think that that's respecting God's house. But that's not respecting God's house. That's respecting someone else's property. Okay. Um, God's house is you. You carry God's presence and God's power in you. And um, God wants us to get back to 
that puppy love. He wants us to be engaging. He wants us to engage the world. He wants us, the world to be attracted to us. He wants us to be playful and have fun and to be innocent and enjoy life like a puppy does. So puppy love is the word today and he wants you to be playful. So I hope that that touches your heart and sets you free of some things. My name is Robin Bremer. My website is .net, robinbremer.net. And I will talk to you tomorrow. And don't forget, this Friday, just a few days away, Kat Kerr will be sharing with you on the supernatural things of heaven, showing us how much God loves us by in, immersing us, embalming us, radiating us, and causing us to change and shift the atmosphere by God's supernatural presence and power. She's going to talk about how much God loves us uh, and because of the superness. Well, she's going to actually talk about the supernatural power of God, the supernatural world, and that God has created, and it's for our, it's all belonging to us. And she's going to talk about the supernatural things of God. She's been to heaven hundreds and hundreds of times. For ten, at least ten years, I think it's much longer than that. She has documented cases of going to heaven and proof, which is awesome. She has three books out. I'm not sure if all three are published yet, but I know there's volume one, two, and three. I'm not sure if they're all available. But check her out this Friday, Cat Kerr. If you want to know about heaven, if you want to know about the supernatural things of God, and I'm RobinBremer.net, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.